Welcome back to my playthrough of Horizon Zero Dawn. We have climbed to the top of this office tower here. This would uh, appear to be a building in Pharaoh's office complex. And we're supposed to search uh, this guy's office for information about Dr. Sobek, who we think is probably Aloy's ancestor in some way. Oh, wow, we could climb up there if we wanted to. Look at that. What the heck? There's a handholds to climb up there. What's up with that? Huh. Oh, there's something here to loot. No, no, no! <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. I was jumped off the edge. <laughs> there. Take everything, Aloy. Boy, this is a long way up, man. So, um, yeah, why can't we climb up here? I'm curious. I might be getting ahead of myself here, but, uh, yeah, let's see. Oh my gosh, I'm getting sweaty palms. Holy hell. Oh my gosh. Maybe I should have done this after search in the office, but we're going up here now. It's so far down you can't even see the ground. Power cell. Hey, I found a power cell! <laughs> Another power cell. This should help me get to that ancient armor. Aha! Uh -huh. Well, see, exploration pays off. So this is the quest. No, where is it? Ancient armory. Um, I still don't know why find a use for the power cell is X'd out there. But anyway, we're supposed to restore power to a bunker door. Uh, now that we have both power cells, we will definitely do that. Why a power cell is up here sitting all by itself, I don't know. But uh, hey, I'm glad I found it. Repel down? Where's this going to take me? How far down are we going to repel? Hopefully not all the way to the ground. Let's see, where are we now? Okay, good. That's exactly where I wanted to go. Right back here to this office. Alright, let's look inside of this box here. Grab that stuff. Alright, let us search this office. So over here we've got FAS Executive Data Storage, secure 3 zettabyte storage rack, 6% power remaining. Well, we better hurry up and get over there before power runs out, huh? Instead of just sitting here taking my time looking around. Examine. That data has been erased from this device. Do you wish to deploy item privileges to recover much data? Oh yes, I believe I do. A file has been recovered. A file has been recovered. We can now scan the data points. Whoa. Watch the hologram. Elizabeth, good to, uh... It's been years. Where's your legal team, Ted? No need. I dropped all 18 lawsuits the moment you landed. I assume your data confirms us. All right, this promises to be interesting. Sounds just like Aloy. Lunch brought in. You know, get reacquainted. I know you, Ted. You've screwed something up, something big, or you wouldn't have eaten the crow necessary to get me here. So spit it out. There's a glitch in the chariot line. Your killer robots? Peacekeepers, yes, those. So shut them down. <laughs> Obviously, Liz, we would if we could. They're not responding. Are you telling me a swarm has gone rogue, Ted? It's worse than that. <sighs> Show me the data then. And I'll take that lunch. Alone. Ted Faro brought Elizabeth Sobek here. But they hated each other. Another file has been recovered. <laughs> Another file has been recovered. Well, let's look at this this file. This isn't a glitch. It's a catastrophe. Fully aware. It's bad. Bad? Jesus, Les. It's not bad, Ted. It's apocalyptic. You built a line of killer robots. Peacekeepers. That consume biomass as fuel. In emergencies. And you made them capable of self-replication. Limited, self-manufacture, controlled. Not anymore. 
The glitch-severed chain of command, the only nation this swarm answers to now is itself. What? Yes, did you think I did? Everything else is just food. And at the rate it's replicating, Ted, it will strip the Earth bare in 15 months. We're not talking the fall of civilization, we're talking extinction. I get it, Liz. So how do I stop it while it's contained? It's not contained, it can't be! You know what I mean. Right. Before the truth kicks out, you mean. Liz, I will do anything you say. Keep working it, and whatever you recommend, I'll do. I'm gonna hold you to that, Ted. Huh. The Faro robots threatened all life on Earth. But somehow she defeated them. The world of the old ones fell, but life went on, or we wouldn't be here. Hmm. Another file. Um, well, I mean, she does make a good point, but the robots are still here. So, yeah, what happened? Let's scan the final data points. Project Zero Dawn. Zero Dawn. Jesus, Liz. There has to be another way. If there are a nicer way to fix your mess, I would have proposed it. But this? This? When I asked you to find a cure, I didn't expect it to be worse than the disease. It's not, Ted. It may be grim, but it's our only chance. Now sign the proposal. Sign it? I can't sign that. Yes, you can. That? Liz, I cannot in good conscience sign that. You've got a choice, Ted. I know. I am speaking to you from a VTOL en route to U.S. Robot Command. In 15 minutes, I meet with General Harris and the rest of the Joint Chiefs. What? what? Are you crazy? Now your choice is what I tell them. Sign, and I'll tell them the wealthiest corporation on Earth has guaranteed the funds necessary to build Zero Dawn. Exactly as I've designed it. Or don't sign, and I will make sure they and everyone else on this planet knows the real cause of the glitch. Jesus, Liz. You don't have to threaten me. I'll sign. Look on the bright side, Ted. From here on out, you get to do what you've always been good at. Footing the bill while others get their hands dirty. God forgive me. made her solution so terrible. What did she do to stop the robots? Executive access detected. Express lift opened. Hmm. So this project called Zero Dawn was so heinous that he didn't want to be a part of it. As uh, Aloy just asked, what could it be? What could it have been that was so bad? What did she do? Well, um, remember earlier in the game, uh, I don't know if it has anything to do with it, but when we were in one of the bunkers, there was like all these people who committed suicide. I don't know if that's anything that's related at all. Don't remember whether Sobek's name was mentioned in any of those tapes or not. Well, oh. This, this doesn't add up. Sobek couldn't have been my mother. She lived ages ago. All this searching, and I'm still no closer. That's your reaction to everything you've just learned? To whine like a spoiled child? You should really try talking that way to me face to face. As you wish. Huh. Do you really have no idea? How monumental are the discoveries you just made, Aloy? I expected more of you. So, you have a face. Got a name to go with it? Of all the questions you could ask right now, that's the one you choose. I've spent decades searching the ruins of the old ones, trying to solve the mystery of what happened to them. For years, I've suspected that feral robots destroyed their civilization, but I could never confirm it. And in minutes, 
You uncover more ancient knowledge than I have in a lifetime, and what you want to know is my name. Silence. That's my name. Now, why don't you try asking another question? Something less trivial. Hmm. Okay. Um... Well, I see your point, or you don't understand, or if you're so smart. Uh, all right, fine, I see your point. All right, Silence, you've made your point. I came to these ruins hoping to learn more about this Elizabeth Sobek. And I have, but I still don't understand my connection to her. Or why the Eclipse is trying to kill me. Or who Hades is. No answers, just one question after another. Exactly. Which is why it's time to expand your frame of inquiry. Only then will you see just how big your problems really are. What exactly are you talking about? You've chased a personal riddle into a crowd of larger mysteries. The common thread is your connection to Elizabeth Subic. But what is that connection? She couldn't have been my mother if she lived centuries ago. We don't know the connection yet. The only way to find out is to keep going, to keep making discoveries. Thanks to you, we've only just now learned that Pharaoh robots once threatened to end life on Earth. But it didn't happen. The Old One's civilization was destroyed, but life... life was saved. Obviously. So, what did Elizabeth do? How did she stop the robots before all was lost? What was Project Zero Dawn? Exactly the question. Now, are you ready to go get the answer? Of course I am. Then why are you still standing here? Uh, because I have some questions. And by the way, I just realized who that is. That's Lance Reddick. <laughs> That's who that is, that voice. Um, he's been in a lot of TV shows. Uh, and the only one that I can think of right now is uh, Bosch on uh, Amazon. Um, and I, I think he was in, he was in the wire too. I'm pretty sure he was in the wire. So he's been in a lot of stuff, which is why his voice was so familiar. But this, uh, hologram of him actually kind of looks like him. So as soon as I saw that, I was like, oh yeah, Lance Reddick. Let's ans ask Lance Reddick, I mean, silence some questions. Not so fast, silence. You've got some explaining to do. I've told you quite enough. If you still got questions, be quick about it and stop wasting my time. Whoa, okay. Uh, is Elizabeth Sobek still alive? Is there any chance that Elizabeth Sobek could still be alive somehow? It's highly unlikely, but not impossible. Some of the ancient data I've recovered includes mentions of life extension techniques. Pharmaceuticals, mostly. An ancient word for medicine. But some were still trying to perfect ways of freezing and unfreezing people. Freezing and unfreezing people? Cryogenics, they called it. But there were problems with it. Given Elizabeth's technological acumen, I can't definitively rule out that she found a way to make herself immortal. But this is speculation. Wasting time. Now, that's enough talking. Be on your way. Oh, no. I'm just getting started. You've been getting a free ride on my focus, risking nothing while I risk everything. All I have to do is take this thing off my head, and you'll be blind, deaf, and dumb. So quit complaining and answer my questions. Very well. Proceed. Yeah, man. How are you tracking my focus anyway? You've been using my focus to spy on me. How's that possible? Every focus emits a signal, a voice, that only other focuses can hear. I know how to string those voices together, how to make them talk to each other, to communicate, even over vast distances. How do you learn to do that? Years of study and experimentation. In principle, it's not so different from how you override machines. I override focuses. And you can spy through other Eclipse's focuses, too. Usually. All I'll say is that overriding the connections is complicated so what are your intentions anyway who are you silence and what are your intentions 
You really need to make this personal. I'm a lone wanderer who left his tribe behind a long time ago. An explorer of forbidden places, a searcher of lost knowledge. Exactly as I said. Why do you know so much about the Eclipse? I happen to know a lot about a lot of things. If what you're really asking is whether I work for the Eclipse or anyone else, I don't. I am nothing if not independent. Okay, what do you know about the robots? You said you've known for some time that Faro War Machines destroyed the civilization of the Old Ones. The evidence pointed that way. But until now, I never knew the full scope of their danger. That they could process organic matter into fuel, or that the Horus class could manufacture more robots. Like a cauldron on legs. But the robots we've seen so far, the Corruptors and Deathbringers, they don't do those things. Not yet, anyway. So far, we haven't encountered any that are undamaged. At full power, who knows what they're capable of. Hmm. Who is this Hades guy, anyway? Remember at the end of the last episode, after we defeated the Deathbringer? Or actually, it was the end of the episode before the last one. After we defeated the Deathbringer, somebody, somebody who identified as Hades... Uh, broke into our focus. I don't remember what they said, though. So far as I can tell, the Eclipse are just following orders. It's Hades who wants me dead. Who is he? I don't know. The Eclipse described him as a buried shadow, some kind of devil. That thing that spoke to me outside, that made that focus explode. That was Hades? didn't seem like a person or a machine. More like a phantom. With a terrible voice. All that's certain is that he wants you dead. Because of my connection to Elizabeth. Has to be. Hades is using the Eclipse to resurrect feral robots. But if Elizabeth found a way to stop them centuries ago, if she made special weapons, maybe Hades is worried I'll do the same thing. In some of the ancient data I've recovered, there are hints of so-called super weapons being developed. Maybe to stop the robots, the civilization of the old ones had to destroy itself. Had to destroy itself, had to destroy civilization. Well, off the top of my head, I'm not sure how destroying civilization would help put an end to the robots. Elizabeth told Ted Faro she was headed for a place called U.S. Robot Command to tell people about Zero Dawn. The place still exists as a ruin. The Asaram call it the Grave Horde. Grave Horde? Cherry name. You'll find it in the Eastern Mountains, buried under the tangled coils of a metal devil. Ah, uh, yes. C-O-R-7 Horus, rather, as we're learning to call them. I'll contact you when you get there. I can't wait. <laughs> Okay. So we'll meet in person, and your manners have better be improved. <laughs> okay, so that was the end of the well, Maker's End quest. Down will be a lot faster than getting up here, at least. The Grave Horde. The robot command huh. next to learn the secrets of Zero Dawn. So, if I'm remembering correctly, we visited the uh, Grave Horde earlier, and um, it was. Was it up here? I'm trying to remember. I remember it was very, very far north. Uh, oh gosh, maybe... It was over here. The Great Forward, right here. Yep, sure enough. Remember, we visited this, but we couldn't get inside of it. I don't remember what she said. She said she was going to need something to get inside. But I don't remember what it was. So, uh, in the meantime, we're over here. We're way over here. And um, there is a vantage up here. There's a corrupted zone here. And we did stop by and say hi to this merchant on our way over here. I'm tempted to just fast travel out of here. Because it's a long way back. But, um, yeah, okay, we're going to repel down. Let's see how this works. So when we're repelling, I can't look around, unfortunately. I always want to look down and see where I'm going. Okay, that did not seem far enough down. 
Oh, here's a zip line. Okay. And, uh, I guess I'll go this way now. So, really, we're just kind of on our own, figuring out a way to get out of here. Snow subsiding. Good. Okay, here we are. Could rappel down from here. Alright. So, are we going to find any uh, enemies here? Any resistance on our way out of here? Or do I even bother to uh, try to get out of here? Do we just fast travel somewhere? Look at the map now. These buildings here. Um. Hmm. Do I really care enough to go to this vantage? I guess I'm a little curious about it. Uh, as far as the corrupted zone, I'm not too jazzed about taking that on. But. We're here. You know? So. I don't know. Let's just run out of here. Ouch. Ouch? What are you ouching about? I'm trying to get my bearings here. This is... kind of where we entered this place. Let's go ahead and mark this campfire as our destination. Should be able to run this way, and it should take us over there. And maybe once we get to this campfire, we'll see if we can't figure out how to um, get to that vantage. Hearing some strange sounds. Don't know if I'm hearing machines or what, but uh, some yeah, strange, strange sounds. Wonder if I can get through here. Yeah, it looks like it. Very snowy here. So this campfire should be right over here. Quick save. Alright. Let's see. Corrupted Zone is right here. Let's go take a look at it. And let's see, is that a quest? Corrupted Zones? No, it's not. I guess we have to get closer to it. But let's go into it. See what we're up against. See how bad it is. It's probably going to be pretty bad. Uh, Yeah, there is a Corrupted Fire Bellowback right there. Um... How do we take out fire bellowbacks? Well, let's uh, refresh our memory. Fire bellowback. Well, his body is weak to freeze. Blaze canister is weak to fire and tear. His cargo sack is weak to everything. And so is his gullet. Destroying this component will disable fire attacks, attacks and trigger a large explosion setting fire to anything in the area. Destroying this component disables the ranged elemental attack and triggers an elemental explosion damaging anything in the area. Well, I think we should maybe start with that. Uh, we're going to go with this weapon here. Now, when we shoot him, he's probably going to want to run over here in our direction. So, uh, I'm wondering, maybe we could lay down some proximity bombs between here and there. Okay, we'll make some more of those. Now, uh, I want to uh, get that off the screen here. Get the, here we go. Okay, well he's, oh great. He's uh, gone for a little walk over here, hasn't he? It's not really what I was hoping would happen. There he is over there now. So, I wanna shoot him in his sack. Oh, there's another machine over here. 
you're not going to be the one to stop me. Huh. Yeah. Oh, wow, he's got this thing. So if I get him to run in this direction through these uh, proximity bombs. Oh, here comes another one. Well, hopefully um, that did some damage to him. Oh. What are these things? Ravagers? Am I doing any damage to him? I guess I'm doing some damage to him. Yeah, we're doing a little bit of damage. Not much, though. Huh. I keep hoping there's going to be a ridge here that I'm going to fall back behind, but uh, it's not really happening, is it? <laughs> and suddenly the music gets quiet. And they're done. They're like, ah, screw her. I'm not going over there. So I still have a whole bunch of, looks like maybe proximity bombs over here that they didn't bother to walk through. Uh, here's something that interesting that we haven't tried yet. Uh, let's go to our inventory, and we should have some kind of bow that will shoot uh, corrupted arrows, right? Let me see if I can find it. kind of am? Oh, it's a Terror Blaster. Where is it? This thing. This bow. Oh, I do have it equipped. The Shadow War Bow. So, if I go up to this, and... If I shoot things with corrupted arrows, even though they're already corrupted, will it corrupt them and make them fight each other? I don't know, maybe they already are fighting each other. Is that what's happening over here? They're fighting each other because they're corrupted? Yeah, it's kind of looking that way, isn't it? All right, well, maybe I just let them all fight each other and soften each other up. And uh, yeah, sure enough, he's uh, wearing them down. <laughs> okay, well, that's pretty cool. Yeah. So, corrupted machines fight each other, apparently. And, um... As far as I can tell, there's only... Well, there's three left. But, uh, they're wearing each other down. So, we'll just kind of stand here. And, uh, let them take each other on. And, hopefully there aren't any other machines around here. Okay, are they done fighting each other? Do I need to get in here and trigger them? Huh. What's going on over there? This is weird. Oh, okay, we got some shell walkers over here too. Maybe that's what they're fighting. Maybe they're actually fighting shell walkers. One down. Oh, maybe not. Maybe he's not down. Okay, there's one down. Oh, ooh, that, that one exploded in the air. Okay, he's down. I like those bombs, man. He did a lot of damage. Okay. So, we still have this guy over here. Just leveled up. And it is super dark out here now, man. Huh. I was hoping I could hit him in his little sack. Do some damage to him. I oh, missed him. There we go. Oh, and the corrupted zone is cleared. <laughs> well, that wasn't hard at all. I don't think they even did any damage to me at all, did they? I don't think they did. I like how these plants can grow anywhere. Can't be too prepared. They grow in the desert. They grow in the riverbed. They grow here in the Arctic tundra. They grow everywhere. Okay, here's um, the bellow back. Help ourselves to its goodies. Thank you. And um, there should be, is it this direction? Some more machine carcasses over here that I'm definitely gonna wanna loot. Might be behind these trees. Yeah, this is where I destroyed them. So we'll help ourselves to these goodies. Cool. 
Well, it was nice that they fought each other. They may have actually been fighting these shell walkers. I'm not sure. All kinds of goodies. So lots of little things to loot here. Now I'm going to see if we can make our way up to this vantage point. Grab medicine on our way. Whoa, whoa. Ah, some glint hawks up there. Figures, doesn't it? Stupid glint hawks. I hate glint hawks. But we're going up. Glint hawks don't like fire, so let's prepare some fire. We'll also heal ourselves to max. This is a pretty cool effect, though. It really does feel like that's way up there. The effect of the snow and the mist. Pretty neat. Okay. Path goes up. Or does it? Hmm. How do I get up there? Uh, well, according to this, we're at the end of the um, path. So let's see if we pick up on... Uh, the vantage. The vantage has to be up on top, but I don't know how we're going to get up there, really. Oh, no. There's a supply crate up here. How do I get up there? Huh. Hmm. I don't know how we get up there. Whoa. So, there's a rope to repel down from. But I don't know how I'm gonna get up there. Look out below. Okay, here we go. Here we go. go. This way. Around here. Uh oh. Glint Hawks. Homing in. Now where? Uh this way? Okay, sure, fine. Huh. This way? Okay. Alright. Uh, now what? Whoa, 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 whoa. This way? It's hard to see. It's kind of dark. Ah, oh, crap. Gosh, Aloy. You're really taking a roundabout. Oh, here's the vantage. Whoa, neat. Snow chill. It just... Faro Automated Solutions. So that's the building that we were just in. Let's look at it in our notebook here. Oh, apparently we... Oh, okay, so this here is a collectible. There's some audio. Play. A pocket shit storm tour. Day one. Where better to start than at the end? Or where the end started, anyway. Round zero. Where it all came crashing down. My career first, then everything else. And I mean everything. There's some text with it. It says, Hi Ma, remember how ecstatic we were when I landed a job here? Aerospace control engineer at Faro Automated Solutions, straight out of Stanford U. Saturday I was tossing a mortar board. Monday I'm an employee of the biggest corporation on earth. Starting wage, six times basic. It was a dream come true, yours as much as mine. When I found out I'd landed the gig, I waited until graduation day to tell you in person. You were so proud. You hugged me five times straight, laughing and crying at the same time, saying over and over, onwards and upwards, the start of great things. I thought so too. It seemed as though nothing bad would ever happen to me, to us, ever again. But bad did happen, of course, more bad than I ever knew was possible. And while I can't blame FAS for making you sick, Metallurgic gets the credit for that, I can sure as hell blame Faro for the rest. But let's talk about the end of the world later. It plays a part in this story, of course. If I hadn't found out what was coming, I wouldn't be doing this, leaving these time capsules behind. But the apocalypse isn't the story I want to tell. This is going to be about our family, about us. It's time to get going. I've spent enough of my time in the shadow of this place. 
I've got 11 more vantage spikes in the trunk of the Sabara I rented, and some pretty good ideas for where to sink them. So let's get the hell away from this place and start sinking. Huh. Well, um, we found one, two, three, four, five of these things. This would see there. There's 12 of them. Okay, so he said 11 more. That's right. So there's 12 total. Data points here. This is, um, I guess, regarding the rumors. Yeah, okay, so we heard that when we were in the building, and these are the one, other ones we heard. Okay, everything's covered here. So that's pretty neat. Uh, I'm not really interested in uh, fighting these uh, Glint Hawks. No, 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 no! Oh, 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 oh! Okay, there we go. I want to get this floating crate. Okay, we got that. So yeah. not interested in fighting the glint hawks i mean i came up here for the um vantage and i found it so actually now that i'm thinking about it, i think maybe we just fast travel away from here that's what i'm thinking mm, i don't think there's any more vantages on this side of the world oh there's one over here there is a um campfire that we haven't found there yet there is a campfire here but this is this is, man this whole area over here is horrible it's a horrible horrible place this campfire here we can maybe fast travel to and then run over there from here I guess but uh, hmm this looks like a really really difficult place to get to I'm not even sure how we get there but it is a vantage and I do want to go to it Let's see, where's the other advantages? There's one here we haven't been to yet. There's one down here. There's one over here. Yeah. Pretty crazy, man. Pretty crazy. There's another metal flower there. All kinds of stuff that remain for us to pick up. Like, it looks like it's maybe... Is that another corrupted zone? Yeah, that's another corrupted zone there that we didn't clear out. Yeah, there's another corrupted zone over here as well. So, uh, let's look at our quests. We get the main quest called the Grave Horde. We're not going to do that one right now. We're not going to run all the way over there right in this moment. So I'm going to turn that one off. Into the Borderlands. That's a level 15 one. We show that one on the map. That one is actually right over here. It's not that far away. Maybe we run over here and do that. But on our way over there, maybe we could go into this uh, cauldron and uh, start exploring it. Uh, I really don't think I want to run back through here because we've already been here, right? But I can't fast travel to here because we haven't been to this uh, campfire yet. Um, matter of fact, the closest we can get to here is, uh, it looks like this campfire, right? So, do I want to fast travel over to it? Look at these campfires here that I haven't even bothered to run past, and I might not even bother to. Why Why run in the middle of all that? That place is a mess. Let's go ahead and uh, travel to here. We've got 26 fast travel packs, so I think we could afford to uh, use some of them. Fast traveler here, and then I guess we'll run up to this cauldron and check it out, unless there's anything else interesting nearby that I neglected to notice on the map. Cauldron, I don't know. Um, I guess it's good to be able to override machines, and of course I want to go into explore the cal and explore the cauldron since it's there. I want to see as much of the game as possible, of course. Unflinching Watch is the name of this place. Okay, um, so we're gonna run down the hill. We're gonna run over here, and then we're gonna run up this little walkway here. That's what we're gonna do. Pick up um, some plants on the way. Let's see. No, not that way. We're not quite there yet. 
Put down a marker. We'll run to the marker. I like the sound of the water rushing over here. It's kind of nice, relaxing. Oh man, you know what we should do? Where is that armor? That's what we should do, right? Uh, what was it called? Ancient Armory. Yeah, where's this on the map? It's way down here. That didn't help me one bit. <laughs> Show on map. It's way down here at this bunker. Let's go do that, man. Maybe that armor will help us in the future. So let's bring up our map from here. So we kind of wasted the fast travel. But that's okay. Uh, problem is, is that... Is this it? Is this where I want to go here? I think this is it, isn't it? Um, unfortunately, it doesn't look like this is a place we could fast travel to. But we can fast travel to this campfire. So let's go ahead and fast travel here. Oh, goody. It's nighttime and there's a lot of machines nearby. Which direction do we want to go? We want to go up here. A little to our right. So let's see if we can figure out how to get up here from here. Yeah, I think there's um, a way to climb up over here. I'm pretty sure this is the way we came last time, actually. Came from this way. I kind of hopped up through here. Okay. Yeah, this will work. <laughs> That's... I saw that yellow there and thought maybe that was the way we were supposed to come up. Down we go back into this place. Uh, drop to ledge. How did I do this last time? Well, this will work. Oh, she's quick, man. And in the cold water we go. She don't care. So we're going to go over here to this bunker door, replace these power cells, and then I believe we'll get access to some pretty cool armor. I don't think there's any penalties in this game for wearing super heavy armor. I don't think it makes it makes us less agile. Pretty menacing looking. Did I scan that data point before? Ultra Weave Trials. Ultra Weave mocks Mark 7.1 Trials, October 65. Trial 49 B, 10 365. Pass, pass threshold 85 of 100. Results Ballistic Test 91. Shrapnel Test 87. Laser test 88, shield integrity 86, impact torso 51, impact arms 62, impact legs 43. Notes. Weave is not tightening properly on local impact tests. We need to optimize existing sensors or add more. Uh, so this next trial was two days later. Boy, those numbers are much better. Notes, sensor optimization successful, but torso protection still lagging. Recommend, recommend increasing weave density. Then the next day, huh, they got it all, but the impact to legs is terrible. Getting there on the weave density and detection components, but an integration error on the left knee tanked the impact test. Ouch. Subject isn't going to be able to walk that one off. Surgery required. Hmm. So is that the current status of this armor? It's not going to protect our knees. Alright, so, let us repair this fuse. Aloy knows how to do it, don't worry. There, fits. I just need to slot in one more. Eh, she knows that too. She's very smart. This too. Okay. Some kind of code. Oh, crap. Maybe there's a clue nearby. A code, huh? No. Yeah. I think the old ones use numbers like this to indicate time. 
Code Nexus, secure encryption port with holographic display. Data shows required settings for nearby hollow locks. Yeah, but there's a lot of numbers. Um, so this is a bunker door. And then we've got these hollow locks. Um, whoa. Turn hollow lock counterclockwise. Maybe there's some more information nearby. Something that will tell me how this works. I mean, it mentions this saying data shows required settings for nearby hollow locks, but, um, I'm, I mean, I'm seeing all kinds of numbers there. I don't know. Something on the other side? Nope, not a whole lot going on over here. What is that? Hollow lock, electromagnetic security mechanism with standard holographic holographic UI interface unavailable. Supply crate. Code Nexus, secure encryption port with holographic display. Oh, that's the back of that thing we saw. Ultra weave armor. Experimental personal armor nanofiber construction with inlaid microprojector network. That's the back of the door. Um, hmm. Yeah. Not really making any sense out of this, I hate to say. I mean, there's some numbers up there, but we've seen those before. Those don't mean anything, I don't think. So, we turn these. Looks like each dial has four positions. Each dial has four positions. There's five dials. Well, four positions, five dials. Um... Oh, okay. I get it. I get it. I think. I think I do anyway. So this one will be 12 o'clock. Okay. And then the next one will be 3 o'clock. Okay. This one will be 6 o'clock. Okay. And then this one here... Nine o'clock. Oops, I went the wrong way. And then this one, midnight. Did it. Gotta check the door. The door disappeared. Investigate the bunker. Clamps have the armor locked in place. Maybe there's a way to power up the mechanism, release the clamps. <laughs> She's so smart. I'll take all this crap. Let's take all this crap. Hmm. What's this here on the... Ultra Weave Trials. More Ultra Weave Trials? No, those are the same ones. Um... Oh, okay. Can I go through here? Just need to install these power cells. That should do it. Oh. <laughs> I need to gather three more power cells. <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. So we're not there yet. We are not there yet, but at least we got some cool goodies out of these boxes, right? Another data point here. More ultra weave progress. From Major Garrow to General Aaron Harris. Subject, Ultra Weave Progress. General, you wanted fast, cheap, and good, and that's what we're going to deliver. By using a flexible nanofiber weave instead of plating and enhancing protection with a 400 EV hard light microprojector, we've reduced our testing cycle from weeks to days, and I'm confident we can get the suit out by next month with a knuck with enough production to cover dozens of elite units at least. Better yet, it will be half the weight, half the cost, and offer twice the mobility. 
All we need is the balance of our funding, a few more tax, and another experienced test subject. I know resources are stretched to the breaking point, but any more delays will jeopardize the schedule, so please advise ASAP. May God be with you and Jane in these dark times. Semper Fi, Major Garrow. Okay. Alrighty. So, um... It would seem as though... We need to find ourselves more power cells. And boy, it sure took me a long time to find two of them. Now I need to find three. I'm going to guess that I just can't simply walk over here and remove these. Oh no, we can't do that. So, we're going to have to keep an eye out for more power cells out in the world. How exciting is that? Let's take a look at our map here. Alright, so this area around here... Well, I mean, there's an ancient vessel there, there is a metallic flower there, there's a vantage point down there, and a corrupted zone down there. So there's stuff to do around here. So I guess it might be okay to go ahead and climb out of this place. Let's see if we can get out of here. Remember, it was a metal flower that took us down here in the first place. Found a metal flower down here. Alright, get out of the way. Alright, let us do some climbing. Yeah, it's daytime now. <laughs> cool. There is a campfire right over here Let's pick this up on our way Get a little bit of for later. medicine and there's a merchant here all right well, I'm gonna end this episode right here save my game when we come back next time you know since we're in the vicinity um, maybe we'll look for this ancient vessel and for this metallic flower and we might even run down this way for this vantage in this corrupted zone so We'll do some side things, do some more side things next time before we get uh, back into the story. So I hope that you will join me then, and I hope you enjoyed this play session. If you did, why don't you let me know by leaving a like or a comment. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you join me again in the next episode.